Now, uh, most of them you'll just unlock passively. The Commando and Huntress you get at the start of the game, as well as Railgunner if you have the Survivors of the Void DLC. Engineering Perfection for Engineer. The most passive of the character unlocks. All Engineer requires is for you to do 30 stages, which, if you like the game, is going to happen real fast. And even if you are just seeing whether you like the game, you'll probably do 30 stages. Verified for multi. Uh, another easy one. All it needs is to complete the first teleporter event five times. So just uh, die a bunch, I guess. Warrior for Bandit. If you're playing Drizzle difficulty or just like the game enough to get this done pretty quick, it isn't hard. It's just complete the third teleporter event, which is nice and easy. Washed away for Captain. Slightly harder. You actually have to win the game, which means kicking Mithrix's butt and leaving the moon before it detonates. I have a kind of how I do it on the most difficult difficulty to get the skins for each character as like a series I'm doing. Um, so if you want to know any tips for your character, they apply on all difficulties to be honest. True Respite, which unlocks Mercenary. If you're running stages to get Engineer or just having fun, eventually a Celestial Portal will appear after you do a loop of the stages. You need to reach stage 8 and complete the Teleporter event. Going through the Celestial Portal, not the Teleporter, will take you to a set of floating islands. At the bottom there's an obelisk that needs to be activated. This will end your run and give you a fate unknown, but you will unlock Mercenary. Guidance Offline, which unlocks Loader. Eventually through luck or sheer game time you'll experience an environment called Siren's Call. Once in this environment you'll notice egg clusters. Destroying enough of them will spawn a unique boss. The Alloy Worship Unit, which can be quite a difficult boss. Once defeated, Loader will be unlocked, and as a little extra street, it will spawn a red item at the centre of the environment for you. Pause for Artificer, though I can never say his name properly. It's not hard, but depending on luck it might be a bit annoying. You have to collect 10 Lunar Coins, which are dropped from defeating enemies randomly and go to the bazaar between time the best way to do this is to use a new altar so 11 coins in total uh, but you might get there through luck and the survivor is next to newt the shop owner uh, you have to go up and buy him it frees him this unlocks artificer artificer i really can't say it to be left alone Acrid. When you're in the bazaar between time, navigate downwards to a little cavern. It's kind of hidden. At the end of the cavern that you'll find down there is a null portal to the void fields. The void fields do constant damage, and I don't believe tougher times helps anymore. They used to, but not anymore. You have to do mini teleporter events that while inside don't try to kill you. Aside from sending enemies at you that get tougher the more stages. You have to complete nine, but on a good note, every time you complete one you get an item, and a red as the ninth one is finished. Uh, each time you complete a teleporter event, there will be a type of enemy or an item added to the enemies you fight, so it can be, depending on your luck, a real pain in the ass. power plant for Rex. The description for this is to repair the broken robot with the escape pod fuel array. This one got me. You have to grab the fuel array from the back of the escape pod on stage one. 
which takes up your equipment slot, doesn't do anything but limit you, as if you fall below 50% HP, you're killed instantly, and the item is lost. What makes this particularly annoying is you have to navigate to the Abyssal Depths, which only spawns on stage 4, the first one, and it's one of three environments that can spawn on stage 4. The best way to reduce the amount of luck needed is to go to the bazaar and buy stage 4 instead of going through the normal teleport on stage 3. It's the easiest way. Uh, once you do make it there, you have to navigate up some jump pads to a platform which you can jump down onto where there's a broken robot. This is Rex. Use the item and the survivor is unlocked. Dragged Below for Void Fiend, only available with the Survivors of the Void DLC. The easiest way to get this character is how I did it in the Simlu... 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 In the Simlu Crumb. I can't say that either. You have to get it to wave 50. The waves are really short and it's not as long as it sounds. Uh, and if you do it on Drizzle it's not too difficult. But it's not easy by any means. You can also get it by escaping the planetarium which is done by taking the void portal at the end of the void fields instead of the null portal and defeating the boss there this you may think is on par with the mythrix boss fight it's not it's way harder if nothing else than the enemies create mini black holes with insta kill you they didn't spawn on my run i'm not sure why i'm very happy for it and that's just the pre-boss event. The actual boss is difficult. Once you defeat him the first time, he teleports somewhere. You have to chase him through platforming. If you have a bunch of movement speed items, but no jumping like I do, you die embarrassingly because uh, that stage, like the void fields, does constant damage to you, and it's not a small amount. Anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, if you liked it, sub, comment, and... If I've got anything wrong, please let me know. If you want to see how to unlock anything else, also let me know. I'll be happy to try and make a video on it. Thanks.